Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm going to review this foundation and this is the Super Stay Active Wear Maybelline 30 hours, up to 30 hours wear foundation and I have it in shade 03 True Ivory and 21 Nude Beige so I don't know which color will suit me, we'll see going on. I just uh, primed my face with this L'Oreal Infallible super grip primer that I do like. I already have a video up so if you want to check up check out my review of this uh, primer you can do that but also with the foundation I do want to try this um, new Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless Concealer Flexi Hold Long Lasting Coverage. I have two shades here in shade 030 and in shade 020 so Let's try these on today. I'm kind of tired because I've been sick a couple of days, so sorry if I sound weirdly. I'm going to use the new or new. I just used. Uh, I just wet it. This is their fresh new thick techniques sponge. I don't usually like these, but they're so popular, so I thought well I will give it a chance because it's been years since I tried it the first time didn't really like it but let's use it today uh, and let's swatch these two I don't know which one will suit me this is 03 I true ivory I think it's a little bit lighter shade than the other one that I have so let's pop that here looks like it to be I know a little bit thick formula. Usually I do like Maybelline's foundation. Not all of them work for me. Um, but let's see. This is which one? Nude Beige 21. Yeah, a little bit darker. So let's swatch this one here on my hand and on my feet. Oh, that's too light. Mm, we'll go with this darker. But that's the shades. So I don't mind if uh, eyeshadow is a little bit darker on me than, you know, than my skin because uh, my face is light, my neck is um, lighter than my body. So usually I do prefer going with a darker shade. It's just because the right shade makes me look very pale and very sick. So let's go with a sponge. I'll try to wear it all day. So it's right before 11 a.m. Oh, this shade is kind of looking pretty good on my skin. Could be exactly when it's going on very nice. Now I used a, a pump and pump and a half. So or maybe it was two. So let's go for two more pumps because I do want my skin to look full coverage. Now I'm going to put information about the foundation here on the screen so you can read it. I'll move a little bit so you can read what it says that it's supposed to do while I'm applying it so you don't, you know, I want this video to be short and uh, have a lot of information and not waste your time. Let me know if you all like that. You know, having my uh, having the information on the screen while I'm applying, so you can see that instead of me talking about it. You know, talking a little bit more, taking your time, and then you watch me apply the foundation. Oh, this is looking very nice. I mean, I have a lot of foundation on my skin right now, and it's going really nice on. I'm also doing this makeup look so you can watch that here or go back to my channel this is the old um, old mini eyeshadow palette from Odin's Eye or Odin's Eye oh this is looking very nice looking very very nice though it's a little bit darker than my skin tone but it's just what I like so 
doesn't look me it doesn't make me look pale oh i like the sponge though <laughs> maybe they changed it or maybe i just like it more than i liked it oh this looks very nice on the skin it really looks very nice now this part is so you know hard to cover it dries down pretty fast, dries down to be powdery. So it does look like I have foundation on, but it's not looking cakey or anything. Kind of looks nice. So I like it so far. Let's go in with the concealer. Now I have two shades of concealers. Uh, number, this is the lighter one. I think it's 20, shade 020. Let's swatch it here. That's 20, that's light. Let's go with this a little bit darker shade that I have here. It's number 30. I bought two shades because I didn't really know. Hmm. Let's see 30. Yeah. It's not as light as I would like it to, so we'll mix these two. Let's go with this one. Yes, that's. I don't like it to be too bright, but I also don't like to be too dark. So mixing these two maybe will be a good thing. So it's blending very nice. I'm having these dark spots are the from a palette that it's broke that I try to fix. So I have like powder everywhere. Now this is blending very nice on top of the foundation. I don't know why it's kind of looking dry. I forgot to apply my under eye primer, back under eye primer. I need to find something else instead of that because as you already know the Becca is closing in September so I need to find something else instead but I love that primer. And I thought that I would buy a stack of them but me using a product that it's not going to be available for you guys kind of feels very weird. Uh, though I don't want to use something out of camera. I almost film every time when I apply my makeup. So for me it makes more sense to use something that you can actually buy. So I'll just try to find something else instead of that under eye primer if it's possible. This is blending very nice and it does have a very nice coverage. So I'm going to go in uh, Shiseido's face powder and, you know, set everything. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it grabbed here. I don't know if it, my face is dry or what happened, but I do have a line here. And I don't know if I didn't blend the foundation right or if it's the concealer or my skin though. But otherwise it does look nice. So I did apply the primer, all of, primer, powder all over my face, and I do have sparkles from the eyeshadow. Don't mind. I, I don't mind that, actually, if I have to be honest. It does look a little bit dry with the powder on. Now it doesn't really bother me because I like my foundation to look matte, because I have very combination and oily skin. So I don't know. I, I do like how it looks though. Uh, I do like how it looks, but I am going to go and finish the rest of my face and I'll be back. So guys, it's around 11.30. It's been a while since I applied this foundation on and I finished my makeup look. I did this makeup look on my channel. It's coming soon. Uh, so stay for that. Don't, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see it. But this is how it looks. I feel when I see myself in the mirror, like my face looks very smooth and like a little bit photoshopped. It does look like I have makeup on when I look very close, but it's comfortable on the skin. It looks very nice though. I do think it oxidized a little bit, if I have to be honest. I think it oxidized a little bit and it doesn't really, it doesn't really bother me. Though I think I'll mix just a little bit with the, uh, the lighter shade in this one that I have. But so far it looks pretty, pretty good. It feels nice. Everything else went on smoothly on top and I do like it. 
I also do like the concealers. I have to say it looks very nice. Do I do have a little bit of fallout from the eyeshadow? So let's just a little bit remove that. Uh, everything doesn't want to disappear, but let's just leave it. I mean, I'm not going anywhere today, so I'm staying home. But uh, it looks very nice. It looks very, very nice. I do like it. Doesn't look heavy. Doesn't look uh, dry under my eyes. I do prefer to go in with this under eye primer, but I forgot today. Still, it looks good. I'm going to put my glasses on and I'm going to go on with my day and let you know how I feel about this foundation after the whole day use, but so far so good. So see you soon. Okay, hi guys, welcome back. Let's take off the glasses and see what we are dealing with now. Oh, I forgot my phone, but it's two minutes to 7 p.m. So we had this foundation for eight hours and this is how it looks. I do look shiny, but I don't look oily. I feel like I, right now the lights are kind of reflecting on my face, but I feel like I do look uh, like I have that healthy glow. I don't look oily. It feels very comfortable. It hasn't bro bro broken up anywhere. Uh, the makeup is still on the chin. Uh, it still looks very nice on the nose. Uh, I do have some fallout for, from the mascara and uh, I think maybe the eyeshadow, but I think it's the mascara that's transforming down here. So it, I do have dark spots, but that's not the foundation. Though I have to say that it da did oxidize a lot. And if you can see, it's. I feel like it's a bigger different now than it was when I just applied it. So the, I'm definitely going to experiment and use the light shade a little bit more uh, that I have. The ivory, I think it's called. The true ivory. I will maybe use this one more and just add a little bit of this darker. I'll see, I'll experiment, but I really like this foundation. Would it be 30 hours wear? I'm not really sure, but I think it's a very, very, very nice foundation. Super stay, it does stay on. So I'm going to use some powder and see how it's going to look when we try to remove a little bit of this shine. But let's talk about the concealers. They haven't creased at all, which is surprisingly um, interesting for me because most of the most of the concealers do kind of settle into the lines because I do have plenty of smile lines or wrinkles under my eyes and it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look too dry, uh, it doesn't look a little bit drier but it's it's not bothering me. I do have plenty of lines here on my face. I'm 36 and of course I have wrinkles, I'm not 20 anymore but um, it's not settling into lines, it's not moving it still looks very very good it didn't it controls my oils a lot under my eyes and that kind of feels very nice i do like the concealers a lot like i said this max factor face finity all day flawless concealer and it feels like it's definitely all day it says flexi hold long lasting coverage definitely what it claims to be it does deliver that so i do do like this a lot so both the concealers and the foundation are a win. Really, really like everything looks. But I did promise you that I'm going to use a little bit of the powder to kind of, you know, try to mattify everything that we have around here. So I'm going to use my puff from Tati Beauty. I think it's called Tati Beauty. Yes, I love this for powder and. It does remove a little bit of the shine. I'm just using the, what it's called, Shiseido powder. Yes, the powder here. Now I have it everywhere. No black pens. So I'm just, yeah, <laughs> the foundation, not the foundation, but the mascara fallout is kind of bothering me. Um, it looks good. It looks like I just applied it. So really, really like this foundation. I think this will definitely be a foundation that I will wear when I need a, a foundation that will stay on the whole day. But I'm not afraid of looking makeup, you know, because... Sorry, guys, I feel like it's my 
my lipstick kind of dried here a little bit and uh, I just wanted to remove don't mind me <laughs> uh, what I was talking about yes I will wear this if I want full coverage long lasting foundation but also not afraid that it's going to look like a foundation because it does look like I have makeup on it's not that face tune smooth foundation it does look from far that it looks like I have a filter on but when you cl look closer up you can see the foundation on my face and it's not cakey it's not heavy it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't look heavy and I kind of like it so yes thumbs up for this foundation from me I do do like it I do appreciate the coverage definitely going to wear a little bit more the shade um it does oxidize so think about that a little bit when you're ordering online it wasn't expensive I think I paid even 50% off so I paid like 11 12 dollars for um for for the foundation kind of maybe played the wrong side that's the foundation <laughs> but I do like it I do like it I think it's good definitely going to continue wearing guys please tell me what you think about this foundation what's your favorite foundation so far for 2021 I would like to know down below let me know if you try these concealers what do you think about them are you interested to try them and thank you guys so much for watching and see my next video and don't forget to subscribe like and comment